Welcome to a brand new tutorial. In this video I will show you how to use the pose morph tag on geometry, to create some interesting architectural deformations. So, let's start. First we start with a cube. We change the size from 200 to 10 centimeters. After the resizing we make the cube editable. You can do this by clicking on the make editable icon or by pressing C on your keyboard. Now we want to move the pivot point of the cube and snap it to one of the cube's corners. Hit P on your keyboard and a menu appears. With vertex snap highlighted click on enable snap. Now we can move our pivot point to lower left corner and it automatically snaps to its vertex point. Hit P and enable snap again to turn off snapping mode. We need to position our cube on a specific point on our grid. This because we want to clone our object later on and we need to maintain a certain size and position. So let's move our geometry to minus 100 on X and minus 100 on the Z axis. Also make sure our cube is set to 0 on the Y axis to make and stand on the ground. Now we'll make some extrusions. Select all three polygons that face the inside of our grid. Right mouse click and select extrude or D on your keyboard. Make sure preserve groups is switched off and set the offset to 90 cm and hit apply. The dimensions of our cube are 100 cm on the XYZ axis. Like I said, this is important later on this process. The next step is to morph the sky into a different shape. We do that by applying the pose morph tag. So, right mouse click on the cube and navigate to character tags and then pose morph, and set it to points. On top you see base pose, this is our main object. Pose 0 will be the shape we want to deform it into. So with Pose 0 selected, switch to Polygon Mode. Select those two faces and move them along the Y axis, let's say about 40 cm. Apply the same trick to the rest of those polygons and we created a thicker version of our geometry. Select the Pose Morph tag and switch from Edit to Animate. With the slider we can transition between the two shapes we created earlier. That looks great. The next step is to put our cube inside of a cloner object. You can add a cloner object by navigating to MoGraph and then Cloner. Drag the cube inside our cloner and we clone our geometry. Set the mode to Grid Array. That starts to look like a structure. Set the mode from Endpoint to Per Step and make sure the parameters are set to 100 cm. This because our geometry has the dimensions of 100 cm as well. Let's crank up the amount of clones by chancing the count from 3 to 6 on all axis. That looks great. Let's create an animation. Go to Deformers and select the Morph Deformer and make it a child of the cube. Now drag your Pose Morph tag in the Morph section. This created a slider controller for us to blend between the two shapes. Now set a keyframe on frame 0 by clicking on the tiny circle next to pose 0. Drag your time slider to the last frame and change the 0 to 100%. Click the tiny circle again to set the second keyframe. The next step is to create a camera. From this point you can create any shot you want. Use your creativity and play with different camera angles. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and stay tuned for a lot more upcoming tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe.